I am standing here in front of you with immense joy, with deepest gratitude and humbleness. A special good evening to all of you who have gathered here to celebrate 2022-23 Teachers of the Year. Congratulations to all of you that you all are champions. And I take this opportunity to welcome all of our school board members, our leader, Dr. Goodwin, district officials, the press, principals, and all the teachers and their lovely families. Welcome you all. You are going to enter into our district's teacher forum. I am going to bid goodbye to all of you. And I told Dr. Goodwin, I am done. <laughs> so it's another moment to celebrate. But you are going to enter into the teacher forum, which is very active and it is functioning. And we did a wonderful thing this year. And this year, we had our representative, Mr. Richie Yao, and our state teacher of the year, Ms. Amy Carter, and our school board chairperson, Mr. Chadwick, to decorate our forum with their own strength and special messages. We did a wonderful service project during Christmas under the leadership of my friend, Ms. Crystal Miller. We brought Christmas cheers to children who are in the foster care. And Teacher Forum is here to advocate for all of the teachers here. You are in good place. We had a number of questions every time asking why, how, when, is this okay, what else if, and our boss, Dr. Goodwin, got all answers. So here is a forum that will advocate for you and it is functioning. And I wanted to tell one thing. There is somebody here in our district, a child, who can read at the grade level, that's because of you. Who can go home tonight and do a skillful problem, that's because of you. And tonight, a child in our own county is beaming with confidence, that is because of you. And there is a child who failed and you motivated them and encouraged them. And the child is happy and they found their way towards success and that is because of you. You made a smile on a child and that is all because of you. You are one in all, a complete package. We teachers are complete package. We are therapists. We are counselors, we are Walmart, and we are everything for our students. They come to us when they need paper, when they say, Miss John, I'm down, or your name, everything is you. You are a complete package. You are champions. And I wanted to congratulate all the 2022, 23 teachers of the year. You all did it. And you have inspired hope in children. You have instilled a passion for learning. You have ignited their creativity. All you have done. You are champions. And this evening is your evening. Sit back, relax, enjoy. And we are here so to celebrate you because you are champions. Thank you.
we're a little different on the program. Uh, I'm not the board chairman, Chad Vick. Um, I'm afraid he was, uh, like the rest of us, get in the month of May, he was double and triple booked tonight. And uh, so I, he and I talked earlier, and I told him that I would certainly bring uh, greetings on behalf of the uh, school board and uh, Chairman Vic, as well as our uh, board members that are guests here tonight, Ms. Kim Birch, Mr. Robert Teal, and Mr. Eric Dusa, and we appreciate them taking the time to come out tonight as we honor our Teachers of the Year. But more importantly, we appreciate what they do for us all of the time uh, to make sure that we have the resources and the ability to provide for the students of Chesterfield County. Um, as I bring you greetings, uh, I want to, to mention a couple of people that Ms. John alluded to. Uh, I want to first uh, acknowledge Ms. Jane Pig over here to my right. Uh, if you have seen the link today, which I noticed she brought quite a stack of to make sure if you didn't get a chance to see the link, I guess that was yesterday, wasn't it? The days are running together at this point. But uh, if you noticed on the, uh, on the back, there is a very, very nice uh, spread that will become the District Teacher of the Year poster that we put in all of our schools. So I hope that uh, if you have not had a chance to look at that, and not only that, but then the write-ups that started on page seven, I think. And uh, it took me a while to read through those about each individual teacher, but I certainly enjoyed reading all of those. So we thank uh, Ms. Jane Pig for all that they do for us in the school district. Finally, we'd like to make a comment, a couple of comments about being Teacher of the Year. Um, you know, a lot of people put the wrong thought into what it means to be Teacher of the Year. Teacher of the Year doesn't mean best teacher. What it refers to is ambassador teacher. And the person who best represents what teaching is about. And, the, and in our case, in our district, it's a person who's chosen to represent your school as a person who embodies what it is to be an effective teacher. But not only that, but we do then push our Teachers of the Year through the forum to then become advocates for education, not just within your school, which is certainly important, but to be advocates beyond the school. And one of the things that we encourage, not just our Teacher Forum members, but all teachers, is to be involved in the process and understand what's going on. I have to, you know, one of the things that I do, and it's certainly not one of my favorite tasks, is monitoring the South Carolina legislature so that if somebody starts to get sideways in what they're saying about public education, especially if it's somebody that represents Chesterfield County, I always get on the, the phone and start texting or calling them and saying, hey, let's talk about what you're, you know, the side that you're siding up on because it's not best for the children of Chesterfield County. And I think that that's, you know, it's not a, a, a fun task, but it's important. And just as we've talked with Teacher Forum about being willing to reach out to those folks and say, this is not good for the students of Chesterfield County. And that's what we're here to do is to be advocates. So I congratulate you on being selected as your, your school level teacher of the year. I congratulate the three finalists that have been previously recognized, and then later on, of course, we'll be recognizing the District Teacher of the Year, who will represent our uh, school district on the State Teacher Forum and is, and is the leader of our District Teacher Forum. So congratulations to all of you, and uh, I'm not sure on the, the priority on how I, who's going to lead you on how we go to dinner, but we'll certainly make sure that everybody gets to eat at this point.
completely my fault that I missed my cue on that. Mr. Brian Batson is going to come forward now to give our blessing before we have dinner. Pray with me. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to celebrate these teachers and the ambassadors that they are for our district. We come together to enjoy some time of fellowship and celebration. Take this food, nourish it to our bodies and us to your service. Light our paths. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I know we all are hungry, but the food is not ready. <laughs> they need 10 minutes to get it hot. So we are going to start the video presentation. So relax and you can look back yourself. I chose to be a teacher because I have always loved working with children. I had great teachers in my life, so I wanted to be that influence on students in my classroom. My greatest joy as a teacher is having relationships with all of my students and being able to create a bond with them that I may not otherwise be able to create. What drew me to teaching was the ability to make a difference in kids' lives. There are some students who don't have a positive influence in their life, and I wanted to be that for them. What I love about teaching is that it's always something new every day. You always have new opportunities to laugh with your kids, to learn with your kids, um, and just experience life with them as they experience it. I like Miss Bruni because whenever my grade is slipping, she got me on the right track. I like Miss Bruni because she made her class interesting and she's fun. Why did you choose to be a teacher? I want to be a teacher because I wanted to help positively mold the next generation of you. And what do you love about teaching? I enjoy my relationships and interactions with my students and my fellow faculty and staff members. So that's what I enjoy about teaching the most. Hey, Coach Brown. This is Josh, your favorite student. And you have a good vibe and you have an amazing work ethic when it comes to basketball. I need you to stay and play basketball until I leave. Hey, Coach Brown. It's Alex. Thank you for always listening to everybody's problems at Central and being somebody everybody can talk to. And thank you for always inspiring us to do better and try harder. What I love about teaching is the relationships that I build with my kids. The relationships that I build with my kids in my classroom start with learning about the kid and learning about the student's family and those relationships grow throughout the entire year. Um, as kids grow up, they, I keep in contact with most of my kids and I'm able to watch them play sports, I'm able to follow them as they go to college or as they get a job, and those relationships that last a, last a lifetime are what I love the most about teaching. What drew me to teaching is that I wanted to make an impact on kids in our society. So making an impact on our society, it was just natural to become a teacher so that I could make an impact on our kids. Ms. Fur was a good teacher because she always helped me with my lessons. Like if I was struggling with a lesson or I didn't understand what she or like what or couldn't comprehend what she was saying, she always helped me with it through it until I understood it and I actually did. And she also made learning fun. Like I always loved being in her class and it was my favorite part of the day. She pushes us to work hard and she's also really nice to everybody. <laughs> Hi, 
Hello, my name is Catherine Carnes, and I'm a 10th grade social studies teacher at Chesterfield High School. My passion for social studies and world cultures inspired me to become a teacher. I enjoy seeing students embrace the learning process and helping them develop the skills to become an independent learner. Uh, Ms. Carnes was a great teacher because she helped me understand the hard topics inside the classroom and made it very easy. I think Ms. Carnes is our teacher of the year because not only was she a great teacher inside the classroom, but she was also always available for help when we needed anything else outside the classroom. I think Ms. Carnes deserves to be teacher of the year because she always helped me and answered my questions when I had them in her class. My greatest joy of being a teacher is creating relationships. I love creating relationships that last all year long and they even last when they leave second grade. What I love about teaching, I love teaching my students how to be kind and how to love one another. Um, I, I feel like those are two great qualities to have, so that is one thing that I truly love to teach my students. I like about Miss Carter is she is nice because if we're down or somebody's being mean to us, she helps us and gives us treats if we be good. I love Miss Carter because she's very kind to me and she's nice. She is nice because she gives us treats when we are kind and nice. What drew me to teaching is the possibility that I can make a difference in the work that I do every single day. My greatest joy as a teacher is when I see a student who just tries so hard, so hard, they work so hard, um, and time after time they just keep getting it wrong, but they keep standing back up and trying again. I um, mean, finally seeing that light bulb go off, and finally seeing that they got it right, and the joy that it brings to them. She's always there for you to do it because she's going to be there for you. Anytime something's wrong, anytime something happens, she's going to teach you a lot of new things that you didn't know or that you want to know. And she's also going to be there for you to do it because she's going to love you so much. I'm Jennifer and I love Miss Furman because she's caring and she helps us. She's a really nice teacher and like just an all around nice person. She's a great teacher. I chose to be a teacher because I want to make a difference. Um, when I was in middle school and high school, I struggled as a student. It wasn't until a teacher finally took interest in me and helped me that I started to make changes in school. I want to be just that for our students. I want to help them be successful and make a difference in their life. Um, my greatest teacher joy would be when a student actually gets it when the light bulb clicks on for them. You get that aha moment and for the first time they realize they can be successful or they can do something uh, that they previously thought they couldn't do. I believe more than anything that when a student is successful, when they get that moment that it just it, it empowers me. It gives me the energy I need to keep going. And that's why I'm here. I'm just here to make a difference in our students' lives. I really like Mr. Goldberg because of the way he teaches. He's very enthusiastic and entertaining. I like Mr. Goldberg because he pushed me towards doing better stuff and uh, having better behavior. I like Mr. Goldberg because he's a fun teacher and all the stories he tells us. What inspired me to become a teacher? Well, there were several factors involved in that decision, but I must give full credit to my parents. My mother and father both have stressed the importance of a quality education. My father worked two or three jobs to provide for his family. My mother, who was also an educator, served as a teacher assistant. However, she decided to go back to school and receive her college degree. As a matter of fact, we graduated the same year. Once I was in the classroom, I knew this was the place for me. I enjoy seeing children master skills and building their confidence. Once they have this confidence, they can take on the world. So using our 
I love Miss Harris is because she is nice, she's funny, she is sweet, and she is very smart. Hi, my name is Carol Lee. I'm a second grade teacher here at Sherrod Primary School. I chose to teach because I like to make a difference in a child's life. I enjoy building positive and supportive relationships with my students that lead to success in the classroom. My greatest joy as a teacher is when a child has that moment where they make the connection and have that large smile on their face and they're excited then about learning and sharing it with someone else. I like Miss Lee because she's funny and she skip counts when she's counting feet. And she's funny because she reads in all kinds of different voices. Um, my greatest joy as a teacher is being able to add value to my students, to be able to help them to meet and accomplish the goals that are set for them. I chose to be a teacher because as a young child, that was something I always enjoyed doing, following teachers, and I decided to pursue that dream and go later on in life. What I like about Ms. Lockhart is she's nice and sweet to me. What I like about Ms. Lockhart, she always made funny jokes and made me laugh, even though she can't see it when I laugh. I chose to become a teacher because one, I love kids, and two, I love technology. And with those two things combined, it's just a win-win for me. One of my greatest joys of teaching is starting the robotics club here at Long Middle School. Um, it is a way for the students to learn STEM and also a way for them to get some hands-on learning along with thinking outside the box. Hi, today we're at robotics club where it's hosted by Mr. Miller, who's an awesome and really great teacher. In Robotics Club, you can 3D print, make robots, and make code for the robots. He's one of the best computer teachers I ever had. Mr. Miller helped us uh, with our code. We do, work, we do word problems to help us. And we're right now we're building robots too for a uh, competition upcoming. We also do 3D printing. We, did, we 3D print our name. The number one reason I chose to become a special education teacher is because I've always had a love for kids with special needs. The joy and love that they share is amazing and I get to witness that every day. I love getting a hug each day. I love hearing good morning, Miss Ring. I love to hear I love you and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. It leaves me feeling pretty special. My greatest joy as a teacher is teaching students with special needs. It doesn't get any better than seeing my students, those who are autistic, those who are other health impaired, those who are developmentally delayed, those who have a speech impairment, and those with a learning disability. I enjoy seeing them reach their goals that they have been striving to achieve all year and to see how proud they are and to see how proud that they enjoy making their teacher. One of my favorite quotes is, children with special needs comes into our lives, leaving footprints in our hearts, and we are never the same. What I love about Ms. Rink is that she always helps me whenever I need help, and that. One thing I love, she helped me draw my work. Because she's really nice and she's really helpful. Good job. Hey guys, when thinking about what drew me close to wanting to become a teacher, my answer came very fast. What drew me to wanting to become a teacher was the amazing teachers that I had whenever I came through the district as a student. I love my teachers. They always made learning fun. They always make school a place where I enjoy coming every day. 
just to let you know how much I enjoyed coming to school whenever I started kindergarten all the way through my high school graduation. I never missed a single day of school. I loved it and that just goes to show how great my teachers were for making it a place that I really enjoyed coming. And that goes into my next topic, which is what I love about my job now and what I love about teaching is that I hope that I can make school just as fun for the students that I work with. I love um, working with my students. I love watching them grow as they become more successful in their reading and their writing and their math. And I just hope that they love school as much as I did. I love her so much. I love her so much. And what could you say about her? What about? Mm -hmm. Short is what? Good. Good. She's a good teacher. Mm -hmm. Do you miss her this year? Yeah. Good. Harmony, what could you say about Miss Short? I can say I love Miss Short. I can say that she's a good teacher, and I can say that I love Miss Miss Short. Very good. Thank you so much. Welcome. Hello, my name is Paula Teal. After 16 years, I stepped out of the regular education classroom and dove into the area of special education. Learning how to identify a student's specific needs based on their disability and then implementing interventions used to target those needs was a huge challenge. In the beginning, I started out with what are the goals and how can I help them achieve those goals? I would eventually learn that there were so many more pieces to the puzzle than originally thought. I now start with, how can I build a relationship with this student and help them want to meet their goals? I have learned that they want structure and routine. They need discipline as well as compassion, and they are reaching out for help more than ever before, and in ways that are much harder to see. I constantly aim to see the child as a whole and try to offer a support system that will help them become successful. My greatest reward in teaching has been watching my students grow academically, but most importantly, socially and emotionally. I'm grateful to represent my school family as Sherrault Intermediate's 2023 Teacher of the Year. This is why I think Ms. Teal should be Teacher of the Year. She is a great teacher. She helps me learn and she actually understands her students. That's why she deserves to be Teacher of the Year. She makes sure I'm working hard. She prepares us for big tests like the SC Ready. I know when the SC Ready comes, I'm going to be prepared and ready because Miss Teal is the best teacher I ever had. Miss Teal is the a nice teacher and if I need help sometimes if she's doing something she'll stop what she's doing and help me and sometimes if I don't need help she'll help me anyway I chose to become a teacher because of the inspiration of my fourth grade teacher. In my opinion, she was the example of the ideal teacher. She was knowledgeable, witty, loving, and had high expectations for all of her students. That's the type of teacher I strive to become every day. What I love about teaching is seeing my students finally understand what I'm teaching and can apply it to real world situations. It helps them become productive citizens and allows me to play a role in giving back to my community. What do you love about Miss Wallace? She does fun science experiments and she's very nice and she helps me in math. Um, she helps me with my math when I can't solve my problem and she um, helps me solve it and she loves to speak.
I chose to become a teacher because I love watching young children grow and learn. I love working with them. I also became a teacher because my mom was a kindergarten assistant and I was often in the room um, working with students and it just tugged on my heart. My greatest joy as a teacher is seeing my students succeed and experience success and in turn watching their confidence grow and their eagerness, eagerness to learn grow. What drew me to teaching was the passion to help develop young learners and also the thought that I can give back to my community. And what I love about teaching is a rewarding feeling that I get when my students su feel success. I love the fact that I'm making a positive difference in my students' lives. Can you tell me what you love about Miss Wimber? Um, she helps me with all my work and, and she helps me break apart words. Because she has a beautiful dress. How does Miss Wimburn help you? She break, she tells me to break the words and parts. seeing all the journey of the finalist and all the teacher of the years. Now food is ready. So we will ask. OK. So we'll ask the three finalists, and we give preference for them. So you take the lead, and the next, the rows will follow from there.
but at this time we would like to start our teacher of the year recognition um, feel free to keep eating enjoy your dessert um, if you need that there are two trash cans on either side at the back um, but we'd like to go ahead and start recogni recognizing our 2022-2023 teachers of the year so when I call your name please come up and receive your plaque um, we'll start with Sherrall Shur Primary Carol Leak. Sheryl Intermediate, Paula Teal. Long Middle, Julius Miller. Sheryl High, Katie Broom. <laughs> Mac B Elementary, Melissa Winburn. Macby High School, Jennifer Bird. Plainview Elementary, Sydney Calder. Petersburg Primary, Haley Short. Pageland Elementary, Timist Harris. New Heights Middle, Mark Goldberg. <laughs> Central High, Charles Brown. Jefferson Elementary, Lauren Freeman. <laughs> 
Edwards Elementary, Marcilla Wallace. Chesterfield Ruby Middle, Hope Lockhart. <laughs> Chesterfield High, Katie Carnes. Ruby Elementary, Alicia Rank. Um, at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Goodwin to announce our Teacher of the Year. We certainly won't drag it out then. How's that? <laughs> Gives me great pleasure to announce the Ch uh, Chesterfield County School District Teacher of the Year, Miss Jennifer Bird of MacBee High School. prepare a speech um, because I honestly didn't think I would win um, because everybody here is a great teacher and what we're here for is for our kids and um, in my packet and in my interview that is that is what we're all here for um, I'm so honored to represent my school and to represent our district um, and I'm honored to be in the company of all these great teachers. That video shows that um, our kids love us and we are making an impact on the kids of our county. And the kids in our county go out and make an impact on their communities and our state and our country. And that's what we're here for. So I, I appreciate this opportunity to serve our district. Thank you. Congratulations again, Miss Bird. You are very well deserved, as well as our other two finalists as well. Uh, these ladies were very special, and their interviews were impeccable. It was a very hard decision, but you all represent Chesterfield County and the students of Chesterfield County so well, so we want to give you a round of applause as well. Oh, what a wonderful evening it has been. I have loved having the opportunity to be here with you all tonight celebrating all of the wonderful educators in this classroom or in this lunchroom, I guess. Uh, there's a special reason that each and every one of you are here. And like Miss Bird said, that video presentation was a testament to that. 
I love hearing what your students have to say about you all, and I know to go to Miss Calder if I'd like any treats. Miss um, Bird, I congratulate you. Um, I look forward to working with you, and I know that you will represent our county well. I want to thank the banquet committee for this beautiful evening. I think they did a fabulous job, so if we could give them a round of applause. They put a lot of hard work into this night. I would also just like to say thank you to River's Edge for the delicious meal. I'd like to say thank you to our board for always putting the teachers and students of Chesterfield County first. Also to Dr. Goodwin and the district office staff for recognizing and supporting the hard work teachers in this county do day in and day out. I also have another, I'll get to the end of the thanks in just a minute. Another thanks would be to Miss John. Uh, she's been my fearless leader as she's led teacher forum this year. Um, and I will be very sad to see her go. I don't know that I can keep up the entertainment that Miss John does in our meetings. I'm going to keep this brief, but I wanted to say a few things. I welcomed us into this school year at the beginning of the year, reminding you all that you are heroes promise I won't dance tonight but now we're here at the end of the year and when I look out across this room I see all of you in your invisible capes I see the blood the sweat the tears that you pour into what you do I hope you feel that this school year was heroic you've worked you fought you've persevered and you are worthy of being here and being recognized for the difference you make in our students lives we might not live in secret layers or have villainous arch enemies, although I'm sure we can think of a person or two. But teachers are superhuman, and they have extraordinary abilities. How else will we be able to get everything we do done in a school day? Teachers are remarkable. But a good superhero is only as strong as their sidekick. They're legions made up of varying powers. I'm sure you have a group of colleagues, administrators, family, and friends that helped you get to where you are today. I'm so thankful that tonight you all are now part of my squad. I know you bring with you all of your vast experiences, your unique skills and ability, and your passion for education. I cannot wait to see what our powers can do together, and I'm excited to serve and advocate with you all next year on Teacher Forum. Again, congratulations to all of our 2022-2023 Chesterfield County Teachers of the Year. That concludes our evening tonight. Thank you all for joining us, um, and thank you all for what you do day in and day out. Um, as a small token of appreciation from our teacher forum, you are able to take your photograph with you, as well as the small box on the table, which has a small gift in it to remind you that you are a star. Also, if you would, Miss Miller in the, I'm sorry, Miss Hazard in the back has a copy of the link. If you would like to take that with you, we have plenty of copies that Miss Pig provided for us tonight. And if you have not had your picture made, please make sure you have your picture made um, to celebrate your evening because you all deserve that. Thank you.